Hello, Raw Food Rehab. It's Friday, January the 15th, and you know, that means we've been at the 11-week Total Health and Weight Loss Initiative for one full week. We're seven days into this, baby, and a lot of you are rocking it. I mean, wow, I've, I've gotten a lot of email, and if you already know what the vault is, the vault is just a little bit of a higher level of accountability where people can request to join the vault and they have to do some things that everybody else doesn't have to do. They have to post a fully clothed picture of themselves, basically head to toe before a picture. They have to post their measurements, at least their chest, waist, and hips, and they have to tell us how much they weigh when they sign into the vault. That's not for everybody, right? Um, and then they commit to weighing in every single weekend during the 11-week initiative. Okay, so it's just our in-house treatment program. That's what I call it. They're not getting any other information than what everybody else on this website is getting, but they just have to be proactive. They have to get in there and be involved. And I mean, we have every kind of person in the vault. There's no reason for anybody to feel weird, embarrassed, concerned. I mean, we go out every shape and every size and it's all about the love. And what happens in the vault stays in the vault. I'm in the vault with my big old booty. Yeah, and so we've had some people that are dropping some serious LBs this week. Like, I was, my mouth opened up when I saw a couple of them. So I just wanted to kind of address that. It's like, okay, some people haven't lost anything, which is cool. Some A couple of people gained weight. That happens. That's real world people. And then, you know, we've had a couple people that have lost like, uh, five to ten pounds in one week. Well, so what happens is, you know, you go from eating this really traditional standard American diet, which is highly acidifying, very acid forming in your body. Your body struggles really to maintain a perfect pH balance, just like you want to keep your swimming pool. pH balance has got to be good. It's got to be like that in your body. So what will happen is if you're plugging a bunch of acid forming foods, which is dairy products, any animal flesh, um, most most grain, especially like processed wheat and flour, all beverages that contain caffeine or chemicals, sports drinks, all that, processed foods, acid forming. So you, you give up that stuff and you start adding and piling in fruits and vegetables and um, seeds and sprouts and, you know, alkaline food. Your body is freaking out and they're like, whoo, thank you, Jesus, you know. So you start dropping all this fluid that you've been carrying around because your body has to neutralize all those toxins. Now, some people don't have any symptoms at all, but a lot of people, when they go radical, they get some heavy detox symptoms. Headaches, body aches, lightheadedness. I mean, some major serious change in their intestinal pattern, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so just, I mean, whatever works for you. You know, if you if you want to do radical and you're okay with handling the detox, don't be shocked because it does happen. But it is possible. I mean, it's possible to lose 8 or 10 pounds in a week, especially when you're first changing your diet. Most likely, you're not going to have that dramatic of weight loss in the weeks that follow unless you're way, way, way obese Then you might because a lot of people that are really heavy, they can just start, you know, weight coming right out. But if you are doing this, if you've made that kind of a commitment, I would really encourage you to consider doing some colon hydrotherapy or to do an in-home enema. I know a lot of people don't like me to talk about that. That discussion is going on in the loo. If you would like more details about, um, but I mean, I'm just saying that it will make you feel better if you're struggling with detox. Give your body a break and help dump some of that stuff. Just It, it does help. So anyway, um, if you didn't join the vault and you would like to join the vault, we are going to be welcoming new members every Monday. So you can apply at any time during the week and I will on Monday mornings after I've had a chance to make sure everybody's done their way in and, you know, pat everybody on the head or give a few people the boot, you know, once I know what's going on, then on Monday, I do welcome new people to the vault. So it's open for you if you want to join us in there, but you do need to go ahead and have your before pictures, your measurements, and your weigh-in stuff ready to go when you join because 
you know, you need to get that in there ASAP. Um, I do give you 48 hours to get that posted, but if you don't have it in within 48 hours, then, you know, that tells me you're not prepared and you're not serious. We do a, we do 11 week initiative every, kind of like every quarter. There's four of them a year. The next one starts in April and that timing may just be better for you, but you can certainly come with us on this 11 week initiative and just learn everything you can learn how to make the changes in your diet that are going to impact your health and impact your weight, either losing weight. Some people need to gain weight and some people really just want to maintain the work that they've already done. So we really want to support you on your journey. That's why we're here. That's what the purpose of this website is, is to support you. If you did, if you, if you started the 11 week initiative, you haven't had results and you're feeling irrit irritable about it and, you know, downtrodden. What I'm going to tell you is you need to sit down with yourself this weekend and just make two lists. These are things that work well for me that have been, that are good to do. Like, be prepared, go to the grocery store, get the fresh produce in the house. These are another list over here of things that aren't working for me. It's not working for me to stay up until two o'clock in the morning, farting around on Facebook, playing Mafia Wars or, you know, whatever it is, you know, watching movies. I don't know. I don't know what you do, but maybe change some of the habits in your life so that you can get better in alignment with your ultimate goals. So figure out what that looks like for you and then start taking action steps on how you can put more raw and living foods into pie hole. Mm -hmm. Raw pie hole now. No more cooked pie hole. So you guys do the best you can. If you have any questions, just fire them away in the comments underneath this video. You know I love you. And tomorrow, be sure to tune in because we do the week end update. And I cannot even tell you. The pictures have been off the charts amazing. So be sure to log in tomorrow. Get the support that you need. I'm going to go ahead and put the chat feature up again over the weekend because a lot of people have the time on the weekend to get the support and talk with each other. So that'll be up first thing in the morning. If you want to chat with other raw food rehabbers, get to know your fellow comrades. I would encourage you to do that. There's a lot of, there's a wealth of support here for you. So make use of what we have. Love you. I'll see you later. Bye.